With your first News at 6 Sports, here's Lee Timmerman. Yesterday, the Twins won their first playoff game since 2004. Today, they're looking to win their first playoff series since 2002. Former twin Jose Brios started for Toronto, Minnesota, countered with Sonny Gray. It's game two in a best of three series, and it is right now in the bottom of the eighth inning. So the Twins are three outs away from winning the series. They scored two in the fourth. Carlos Correa knocked in one, but then a run scored again on a double play for the Twins. Top of the fifth, Toronto had two on, two out, but Sonny Gray picked off Black. Vlad Guerrero Jr. to end the inning. And then on the top of the sixth, the Blue Jays had the bases loaded. They did not score as the Twins turned a double play. Again, a win for the Twins, and they move on in the playoffs. If you have not watched Bismarck High play football yet this fall, you will, it will not take you very long to figure out what number Carter Hankey is. JT Faribault puts the Demons number four in this week's Sports Spotlight. Bismarck High's football team lost every game it played last season. The team has done a complete 180 this season, only losing once in six games. Senior Carter Hankey has been a massive part of the Demons' success this fall. You know, everything goes through him. He's been a, he's been a workhorse. He's a, he's a winner. He's a kid that wants the football. And, uh, you know, those kids are, are fun to coach because, you know, they come along every once in a blue moon. If you've watched the Demons play, it's impossible not to know number four on the field. Hankey starts at running back and linebacker for the Demons. He's even on the field during special teams, taking kickoffs, kicking field goals, and punting for the team. I'm never going to know when my last play is going to be, so I'm just going to play like every play is my last play. So that's how I want to lay it out there. And wherever coach needs me, I'm going to fit in. So Hankey leads the team with 87 carries. He's banked 10 rushing touchdowns across 661 total yards. He's also caught for 162 yards, hauling in two touchdown receptions. With stats like that, it's quite clear Hankey sets the standards for the Demons. Well, Coach always told me that I'm the power back for us, so, and he likes running power football, so I guess I fit perfectly for him. And I guess being 200 pounds helps too. So He's, he's a vocal guy, I'm pretty sure. Most of the like, leadership he shows is just coming to practice and competing every day. Showing like what needs to be done to be great with, to the guys, and I really think that just shows the type of person he is. A bit, uh, and he's a really good competitor. He hates losing. The way Carter tears up the turf is an art form. Away from the field, he spends his time tidying up turf, running his own lawn mowing business. I just think that you know it shows that what type of kid he is. That uh, you know there's bigger things in life than just football, and it's something that. Uh, you know, he's, he's certainly a young man that has is, is, is got his aspirations on, on achieving some things in life. And those are, those are uh, you know, that's what this is all about. That's what we're in education for. And it's something that, uh, you know, those guys are going to be leaders in somewhere in shape or form and, and down the future for us. The Demons host Minot at the Bowl tomorrow night with the spotlight on Carter Hankey. I'm JT Farabo reporting for your news leader. It's a tie for the top spot in the new nine-man football poll. South Border and Sargent County each have 81 points and nine first-place votes. The Mustangs are coming off an impressive win in New Salem. New Rockford is third, just ahead of West Hope, who also received a first-place vote. In Class A, it's the Aggies, Vikings, and Titans in the top three spots. Langdon is also undefeated. Shiloh is getting votes again this week. Well, the Bobcats have the longest season of any team that plays in the capital city. This is one of the rare weeks off for Bismarck's junior hockey team. The Cats are eight games into the schedule, and they're tied with Austin on top with 10 points. Um, I think this year we have a, a lot of depth right from the start. Um, so I think we're able to build our team and uh, look, look and make a move early on in the season instead of, you know, obviously late in the season like we've been doing. Um, you know, guys need to find their role, and um, I think people will be able to do that this year. Next week, the Bobcats head to St. Cloud. Their next home game is on the 20th when Austin comes to town. And Ed Dressler made a hole-in-one at Riverwood today, acing number seven with a five iron. Seems like there's one every week. Seems like it. All right. We'll be right back after this.